Hey everyone, this is Allison with Stitches and Stuff Studio. Sometimes I like to use nature for inspiration, so here are some of the pictures that inspired today's video. This is a hemostat technique that I've never done before. It will hopefully create a large dahlia flower in the front of the t-shirt. I'm starting with the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique to help get the sleeves out of the way. I'm going to pull the front of the shirt forward to separate it from the back of the shirt because I don't want the flower on the back. I only want it on the front. I'll mark the center point and then fold the shirt in half along the fold. From here, I'll create something like an airplane fold by folding down to the center seam, smoothing everything out nice and neat, and then folding down to the center seam again on one side. Then I'll flip the shirt over and repeat the process on the other side. Remembering that the back of the shirt and the sleeves are kept out of the way the whole time. Once the folds are all nice and neat, I'll use a series of hemostats on the front of the shirt to create the flower design. doing this technique is that I need to check the back of the hemostat area. Some of the hemostats folded in little creases as I applied them and I couldn't see the wrinkles and ripples from the front. I'm going for a watercolor Monet look for the sleeves and the back of the shirt, so I'll do a loose scrunch without even any rubber bands. I'm taking my time to really spread out the pleats and the folds so the dye can get good coverage.
I've used some heavy duty aluminum foil to create an ice barrier around the shirt. I'm using a few clothes pins to hold the ice barrier in place. Working from right to left, I'm using the following colors. Palomino Gold, Plum, Deep Purple, Blue Violet, and Imperial Purple. Once I get to the scrunch part, I'll be adding in Avocado, Sage Green, and Cayman Isle Green. Now that the dye is all applied, it's time for the ice. I'm carefully placing the ice cubes on the dye so that I disturb the dye as little as possible. Once all the ice cubes are in place, I'll let the shirt sit and batch. I'll check the clock once the ice cubes have all melted and then let the shirt batch for another 24 to 48 hours. batched for 48 hours after the ice had finished melting and now it's time for the rinse out. It's kind of a cumbersome mess with all the hemostats but we'll get this under control. I'll use cool water to rinse the dye out of the shirt and once the water runs mostly clear it's off to the washing machine so for a nice warm wash with some fabric detergent. I'll be back when the shirt's dry for a final look. Wow, wow, wow! I love this shirt. I wish you could see it in person. The video just doesn't do it justice. The Dahlia flower turned out great. Not exactly what I was planning, but it's still gorgeous. I love the watercolor effect on the rest of the shirt as well. It's just exactly what I was hoping for. I want to do this technique again several times and really perfect it. I think this is a technique I could really enjoy doing and the results are so dramatic. Let me know in the comments below what colorways you would like to see me try with this technique. As always, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, turning on notifications, and, and leaving a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. It helps me grow my, my new baby channel. Until next time, go add some color to your world and create a tie-dye project.